So pile two of her back. Had to end that one and start a new one. So really just being able to <clears throat> overcome any shyness or hesitancy when it comes to bringing forward the messages that you are hearing and when it comes forward to communicating and expressing what you are seeing going on around you. Maybe there's even somebody around you that is pulling away into solitude and and locking themselves away, really throwing themselves out in the cold. And it may not even be you who is putting them out in the cold, but it, they're putting themselves out in the cold because of this jealousy that's eating away at them that is causing them to believe that you are no longer caring for them in some way or, you know, that they are all alone and you can come in and communicate and bring them peace and harmony to their thoughts and let them know that they are not alone. But you do need to remember to love yourself first as well and to not give in to their desires and their wants if this is not what you're wanting to do and if this person is wanting to push you into something with them that you aren't wanting. Especially if it's an ex-lover because, you know, we do have a lot of emotions and feelings and compassion and empathy for those people, but we can't live our lives to please other people. And at the same time, we can do the right thing or try to do the right thing, which would be to communicate from a place of love and care and kindness, compassion and empathy for yourself and the other person and to be grateful for everything that they've done for you because maybe they've done a lot for you. But to also just be able to release where you're going and enjoy yourself in the moment and appreciate who you are and love who you are even if you do have to go into a sticky situation where you're communicating some very heavy emotions with other people. You know what? I'm going to grab you a couple extra cards because I was just thinking about it. I kind of want to grab this one, this one, and this one. I'm going to grab this one, and then, then this one. And we're going to grab this one, and this one. Okay. <coughs> You communicate with ease and gentleness. You overcome every challenge that comes your way, opening my eyes to the truth of the situations around me. So you might be opening yourself up to the truth of the situations around you, or this other person may be seeing things in a completely different light than they used to. They may be seeing you as a strong person who can overcome anything that comes your way, and that you communicate with ease and gentleness, and maybe they're appreciating that now where they didn't in the past. Maybe there's a lot more gratitude for it. And it could be the other way as well. Hold me close and tell me it will be okay. Happiness fills my mind over you. So if this person had something to say to you, they would tell you to hold them close and tell them that everything will be okay. Even if you guys aren't together, even if this isn't meant to be, even if, you know, you guys love each other in a different way at this point, everything will still be okay and you are not alone. That's all they need to hear. You know, happiness fills my mind over you. So this person is filled with happiness when they think of you. And they just want to know that you are filled with happiness when you think of them too. Even if your friendship may have gone through a lot of hardship, pain, and hurt. People talk very highly of you. Don't worry about the few haters. Pick yourself up and dust yourself up off you got this so even if you know and maybe this person is talking some really bad things about you or maybe they're hating on you in some way and it's just time to leave that behind to pick yourself up dust yourself off and know that you know there are a lot of people who do think very highly of you but not everyone is always going to like everyone you know there's always going to be people who don't like you and that is okay it's okay to have people who don't like you so that's what I have for this pile. I would absolutely love to hear about your situation and what you've got going on. And if I can help in any way, I would like to do that as well. You know, I would love to hear if this resonated in the comments. So please leave a comment if this resonated with you. And I hope you have a beautiful night, day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye. Pile three. So for pile three, there may be a lot of coming into alignment with your true self and your true path, 
really very focused and determined to go forward towards something that you're feeling very passionate about as well. There could be a lot of mirroring energy going on around you where you might be seeing your reflection in a lot of different things. You might be seeing yourself in a lot of different things. And you might be really starting to delve in and understand yourself a lot more. And there really could be a lot of happiness coming your way that you and maybe even you and another person have worked very hard to build a lot of happiness and a lot of freedom, a lot of openness and a lot of transparency and, you know, a very big awakening. There's a very big awakening happening here. There may be a lot of leadership and liberty, freedom you know, the want, the drive, the need to go after freedom, liberty, happiness, you know, and what that is to you and to work hard for it. And we have two channeled messages for this pile because I felt very drawn to pull two for this pile. When I got to this pile and right before the reading, I was almost thinking about doing two for each of them. But... Then I was like, no, I'm just going to do one. And I got to this pile and was like, nope, this pile has to have two. So we have a song in this one. I wrote down two songs out of the six channeled messages I did. And the first two piles didn't have a song, but you guys get a song. The Witch's Daughter, Ashley Serena. There may be a lot happening behind the scenes now. The darkness may be intimidating, but remember just how strong you are, just how far you have come, and who you came from. See the good, focus on the light, and clarity and peace will return. You have many gifts, appreciate and rely on them at this time. Your ancestors and your past loved ones are here to guide you and to stand behind you on your journey, especially your intuition. Remember not to let fear be your guide. Rely heavily on your intuition at this time. Instead of allowing fear to be your guide, rise up to meet the challenge with courage and integrity. So do what's right, what you feel is right, and step up to the plate and face your fears, knowing and trusting that you have the power within you to face this darkness and to see what's really happening. <clears throat> It's time to speak your truth, own your worth, and know your power. You have everything you need within, and the universe will provide you the rest. It's time to trust that you can stand on your own. It is time to look deep inside yourself and to face and accept your shadow self, and to bring old cycles of codependency to an end. Know that you can accomplish what you wish, and a payoff is coming for your hard work. To stand up for your beliefs and your needs. Communicate clearly and confidently. Work hard to bring clarity to your thoughts. So if you found an interest in pile two as well this is your there might be a connection moment own your issues and accept them we all have our own so even though it's time to call out other people on their things it is also time to face your own it's time to face your own darkness within it is time to face your own shadows it is time to understand them on a deeper level and to know that everyone has their own and it is okay that you have yours too. It is okay. And the only time that they really, really hurt people is when we are in denial about our shadow sides. Climbing out of them can be very hard too because on our way out of them, sometimes we stumble and we end up expressing the same behaviors again. And it hurts even more because this time we knew and we shouldn't have been doing it. But, you know, that's how we learn. That's how we grow. That's how we understand new concepts, new ideas, new things, is by looking at them closer, analyzing them, and seeing what our reactions were in situations <clears throat> and whether or not they were the best reactions. And if we don't feel they were the best reactions, how we can change them to better reflect who we want to be in future encounters. It's really time to step up into who you truly are and to take responsibility 
for yourself and your issues. You have free will. Be grateful for it and show it by making a decision. So it's time now to make a decision. To make a decision. To accept, maybe, the happiness that you have worked so hard for. To really come into alignment with your true purpose and accept the happiness that you have worked so hard for. Maybe you are somebody who has a hard time accepting the blessings once you have worked for them and they have come in. Empathy is your middle name. Seeing things from every perspective isn't always easy. Empathy helps though. So it's time to look at things from the shoes of another. And it is time to ponder where they might be coming from. To understand on a deeper level where the people around you may have been coming from when they were doing what they were doing. And were they working on the same goal of happiness as you were? When you follow your heart, know that you are on the right path. But it's not to be confused with impulsive emotions. So it's time to really delve in. To what your heart wants on a deep level, which is to be able to give and receive love on an unconditional level with someone else who can give and receive love on an unconditional level with someone else who with someone who it's an equal love, an equal desire, an equal passion, an equal trust, an equal caring, an equal give and an equal take. You know, and not something that's just spur of the moment and jump in head over heels where everybody's wearing masks because they haven't gotten to know each other and the real deeper person beneath that. And to understand that it's okay to explore your options and to change your mind and to follow your heart when you feel it's pulling you in a certain direction, as long as it's not something that you're doing out of loneliness. Know your worth and don't accept less. Yes, not something that you're doing out of loneliness. Don't allow loneliness to be the reason behind why you go after someone or something. Value yourself, know your worth, believe you are love. And once again, know your worth, know your worth, believe you are love and love will come to you. Value yourself, respect yourself. And the best way we can value and respect ourselves too is by owning our issues, accepting them, forgiving them, releasing them. Have that compassion with yourself, that understanding, that care, that love for yourself that you have for other people. And believe that you do deserve to have love coming back at you. You deserve to have a life mate and a, and a partner. You deserve to have someone who is good to you. You're on a path to learning right now. And... Sneaking off on your own wouldn't be the best way to go about what you're doing. You are somebody who is much better off in a partnership. Somebody who really enjoys a committed, loyal, solid partnership. You're somebody who believes in traditional values. And somebody who really has a lot of integrity in a relationship. Somebody who's able to go the long haul. And somebody who has been through so much but really has always been able to keep trudging along with very little resources at your disposal. You're somebody who really has a wealth of nourishment within you and you offer that to others through your care, your wisdom, your spirituality, your teaching. Yeah, and your voice. Your voice empowers and uplifts other people. Your singing. Your singing is beautiful too. Your singing is very beautiful if you pick this pile. You are somebody who knows just what to say and just how to say it. Just how to express yourself. And you're somebody who knows that because of everything that you've been through. And you're somebody who knows what you want. It's just time to express it. It's time to believe in yourself. And it's time to trust that what wants you or what you want wants you as well. So that's what I have for this pile. And I really hope that you enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear what's going on in your situation in the comments. I love to hear your stories. And I would love to give you feedback as well if I can and am able. And I would love to hear if this reading resonated with you as well. Because I always love to hear that too. It's still amazing to me sometimes. 
I hope you have a beautiful night, day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye.